Hello YouTube, RJ. Um, future episodes over the next many months, my intention is uh, one of the projects we're going to be working on the channel is to build our own radio. Um, it's going to be an HF transceiver and my plan is to, uh, you know, if you're familiar with like Charlie Morris, similar type operation, um, probably going to build um, Probably going to do a lot of testing with the different phases, similar to what he does, but probably in a little more detail. Uh, a lot less math. I'm not a math guy. And uh, see what we can build. See how good we can build. But I thought to start off, we needed to talk a little about radio technology and kind of ease into it a little bit. So here's, here's, here's my idea. Okay. Let's talk about, let's talk about a receiver first, a radio, and what it takes for a radio to work. And so what I thought I would do is I wanted to start out by showing just how simple a radio could be, uh, at least a receiver. Um, so let's talk about it a little bit. What, what do we need? If we wanted to build a receiver, let's say we were going to build a, a very, very simple receiver right now. Um, maybe, I don't know, an AM or FM radio, maybe AM, FM radio receiver. What would we need? Well, obviously everybody knows we, we've got to have an antenna, correct? So we've got to have an antenna. And then coming out of that antenna, probably going to need uh, an amplifier of some sort. Um, we're pulling in some pretty weak signals. We're probably going to need a little help with that. So we're going to need an amp of some kind to uh, preamp. And then we're going to come in, and the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a... Actually, I should draw it this way. You're going to need a mixer. You're going to need a mixer, and we're going to walk through what each one does, but we're going to need a mixer. And to feed that mixer to generate what we call our LO signal, local oscillator, um, I'm going to need some kind of device. We'll draw it this way. We're going to need a variable frequency oscillator of some kind to be able to tune the radio. Okay. And then coming out of this, we're going to need some kind of crystal filter or some filter. And this filter's purpose is going to be to only allow a certain small segment of frequency through it. It's going to be, if we're listening to AM, FM, it, you know, it's going to be fairly broadband, a couple megahertz, or well, not megahertz, I'm sorry, uh, en enough to get the whole signal to come through. So, you know, literally for audio, really what we only need 300 hertz, say, to around 3,000 hertz. So we, we would only need about 2,700 hertz for your typical audio to come through if you were doing ham radio. Probably need a little wider than that for fidelity for, for FM, AM stations. So out of this, we would come out and we would have something, some device as a detector or demodulator. We'll call it a demodulator. And our DMOD is going to take this and break out and take the modulation that's on the signal and come out with audio. And then we're probably going to need a little another amp for audio. And then this literally would come out to a speaker. And we basically have a radio. Okay, so I was thinking, how could I demonstrate how this all works? Now, this is a direct conversion. We're taking it in and we're converting it directly to, to audio frequency, basically. And we're going to build a super heterodyne, which will have a few more, another mix or a few more things in there to make it a much better receiver. But how could I do this in, in, in a way that's very simple, 
that would let me demonstrate to my viewers exactly what's going on when you're tuning, how, how all this is working. So anyway, let's run through it real quick and then we'll kick over what I've done. You need an antenna, you need an amp, you need a mixer, you need a VO, VFO. VFO is going to bring a frequency in and the mixer is going to take the frequency that we're looking for. The antenna is bringing all frequencies in, let's just say, and the amp is amping, let's say, all frequencies and all frequencies are coming to here, okay? And they fit in their little spots, okay? Each one is, if this is one megahertz, and this is two megahertz, this is three, this is four, this is five, okay? Three, four, five, okay? They, the signals we're bringing in fit nicely right where they belong. But when we use a mixer and a VFO, if I enter 10 megahertz, What's going to come out is exactly the same information on these frequencies, but they're going to be shifted. They're going to be shifted by 10 megahertz. You're going to get the addition and subtraction of both. So a 1 megahertz signal is going to show up. One of the places is 11 megahertz. It's also going to show up at 9 megahertz, negative 9 megahertz. We won't talk about negative frequencies at the moment. Let's just worry about the positive. So it's going to show up at 11. Whatever information is being broadcast at 2 megahertz is going to show up at 12. 3 is going to be at 13 because when we mix 10 megahertz in these frequencies, we get, we move those, we transpose those over 10 megahertz. So what comes out up here is a different frequency depending on what we put in here. So if we set our crystal filter to a certain frequency, let's make it 10 megahertz, okay? If I wanted to listen to 2 megahertz, what I would do is I can pump 8 megahertz in to my VFO here. 8 plus 2, I'm going to get I'm going to get the data that was on 2, the information, modulation coming through at 10 megahertz, it, it is the only thing going to go through here. Everything else is going to be blocked. So I'm only going to get whatever is at 10 megahertz after being shifted. So I'm going to get 2 megahertz coming out here and only 2 megahertz and only 2700 hertz of it. Going into the demodulator, it's going to demodulate and take all the RF away and just give me the audio. An amp's going to boost it a little and a speaker's going to put it out. Okay? It's that simple. So... How can we do this really, really simple and at the same time make it where we can see what's going on? Well, here's what I've come up with. I've got an antenna. And let me move over. Sorry for the squeaky chair, but let me move over here a little. And let's take a look. Pardon the camera. I'm going to move her over and let you see what we're looking at over here, hopefully. What I've got, I've got two little cheap AliExpress, AliExpress modules, okay? This one is a little uh, RF amp. It's good for 0 0.1 to 2,000 megahertz, okay? There we got our power cables. So we're going to put some power in here. So my antenna, my antenna runs over and connects to my amp. Just like our diagram comes out this is a mixer um, this is my rf coming into my mixer then what i have is i have this running up to my and you can't see it at the moment but oh if, if you don't if you'll pardon the moving around i will see if i can't let you see a little more of what i'm doing here So I'm pumping from here to my antenna. I mean, from my antenna. I'm sorry. From my signal gen, I'm pumping that down into here as my LO, my local oscillator coming in. So that allows me to generate whatever frequency I need up here. Coming out of that, what do we need next? We need our crystal filter and our demodulator, right? Well, Interestingly enough, 
my SIGGEN has a demodulation capability. I can pick a frequency on my SIGGEN, pretend it's our intermediate frequency, that's that frequency that goes through the crystal filter, the frequency we move everything, we transpose everything to. I can pick one on here. Right now I have 50 megahertz centered, that's it. And that'll be my crystal filter, but it'll also be my demodulator. Okay. Then on top of that, what I've done is we've got a little battery powered amp speaker here and I had to take it apart and turn on. I had to take it apart because it, it, the, the case got in the way of plugging in. So I took it kind of apart, but there's me a little amplified speaker plugged into the little earphone jack on the SIGGEN. And so basically if we turn around and hook up power, to this and apply power. Sorry for the noise from the power supply. Then what we end up with is this is powered up. This is being amplified now. We don't see a lot going on on the SIGGEN. We don't hear anything. That's because I don't have my output of my SIGGEN going. So let's kick it on. Well, we got audio, so let me turn that down. Okay. If you can see the peak right here, you can see a, the peak on the signal. That's a radio station local to me, FM radio station. You notice I've got right here, if you can read, and I'll bring up and I'll, I'll put a screenshot up. We're in FM mode of demodulation with the earphone turned on, volume 120, demod is 10 seconds, and signal gain is 7. So I'm using this as a demodulator, crystal filter demodulator. This is my amp and my speaker. So we've just built the whole system, our amp, antenna amp, antenna to antenna amp, to mixer, VFOs up here is my SIGGEN, output goes into my spectrum analyzer, which is my crystal filter demodulator it dumps into my little speaker box here which is an amplifier and a speaker okay so what happens now is by tune if I tune this I'm going to turn up this demod time so it's going to be skippy it's going to take samples every half a second or so but it'll update the screen fast enough for you to see See the middle of the screen right here? I'm off of anything, and I'm tuning. Turn the volume back up where you can hear it good. Okay, I'm real close to the station here. I know it's aggravating. I'm going to turn the demod on, though. Now it's only going to kick. Every 15 seconds, it's going to kick out. If you notice, I'm on a radio station. Turn the demod down some because I wanted to update more often. I want you to see the frequencies moving. So let me get down here something like a second where we can hear some of the audio. But okay, see my radio frequencies there. See, as I turn, notice they're moving. We're moving the frequencies around with my VFO. Now, one thing is, you know, some move up, some move down. Okay, that gets into that gets into a more complicated thing we'll cover later about how you're generating not just the VFO plus the the RF, you're also generating the VFO minus. So some signals will be going up, some signals will be going down. But if I keep tuning this, 
There's a pretty good powerful station over here, one of my uh, we're getting there. Okay. Can you turn that down? I'll get copyright stroke, but you get the idea. So literally when we tune the VFO, what really happens is our crystal filter and everything. I'm going to move to where I'm moving a megahertz at a time. And I'm going to move this down to where it's updating pretty quick. Not worried about the audio at this point. Just want to show you. Okay. As I turn, notice that these signals move up or down depending on me with the VFO. I'm moving signals around. So the whole idea behind it is you move the signal into the passband of your crystal filter to, to, to catch just what you want. And that's how the tuning of the radio goes. So hopefully this kind of explains it. Hopefully, uh, you know, I'll do a little, little bit of screen capture of the, uh, of the spectrum analyzer, give you a little more detail and, uh, hopefully, uh, and throw it in the video and hopefully you can see what's going on and that's it. That's what I wanted to cover today. Uh, tried to make it somewhat short, but informational. We're going to build on this. We're going to, we're going to design our own mixers. We're going to test a bunch of different mixers. We're going to optimize and find the, the best mixer for us. We're going to do the same with amps. We're, each module we're going to go through and build a number of them, test them, try them out and decide which one looks best to us and build a radio as we go that way. So should be entertaining. Hope you like it. Uh, hope it'll bring you back to the station. And, uh, you know, if you like what I'm doing on the channel, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. Helps me out, gets me out there, gets me noticed. Um, would be nice to have more viewers. Thanks a lot for, uh, for all you guys tuning in. Bye-bye.